Eddie, well, a day after the provincial budget, there has been some criticism from an unexpected source. Conservative Senator David Wells issued a news release slamming the province for raising the HST. That had Premier Paul Davis and the Finance Minister Ross Wiseman firing back today. NTV's Michael Connors, live in the newsroom with more tonight. Michael? Thank you very much, Glenn. Well, when the federal conservatives came to power in 2006, they made a big deal about cutting two percentage points off the GST. So yesterday, when the provincial Tories announced they're going to add those two points back onto their portion of the HST, they quickly drew fire from the conservative senator. Just as we have gotten to the town. Liberals and New Democrats criticizing a Tory budget, no surprises there. But a federal conservative criticizing it? That surprised the provincial PCs. Newfoundland Senator David Wells issued a news release saying he was disappointed by the increase to the HST. He wrote, the provincial government has raised the provincial portion of the HST and pocketed the difference. This move damages businesses and increases costs to all consumers in the province. Regrettably, the provincial government's budget diminishes consumer economic gains for Newfoundlanders and Labradorians made in the 2015 Federal Economic Action Plan, otherwise known as the federal budget. Premier Paul Davis was not impressed. Really interesting for the federal government to be passing such commentary on, on our budget. They don't, uh, you know, in our budget, when, when the federal government has really taken swipes at the Newfoundland and Labrador economy and people in Newfoundland and Labrador over and over again. They've moved uh, moved jobs out of our province and moved them to Nova Scotia, New Brunswick and Quebec. You know, they, they've downsized the search and rescue centers here. Although Davis has not exactly been complimentary to Prime Minister Stephen Harper either during their dispute over the CETA fishery fund. It's very clear to me that we cannot trust Stephen Harper, cannot trust his government. Finance Minister Ross Wiseman questions where Senator Wells was during the CETA dispute. Obviously Senator Wells can say what's on his mind, but I'm just kind of curious to know where he's been on CETA. So when it was important for Newfoundland to have someone at the table in Ottawa speaking on our behalf, he wasn't there. He's been silent. He's been the pit bull for the Prime Minister's office ever since he's been in Senate. So finally now, today, when we have a budget that has an eye on the future of Newfoundlanders and Labradorians, has an eye on the future sustainability of programs and services, what does he do? He now surfaces as a defender of Newfoundlanders and Labradorians. Now, Senator Wells declined to do an interview about his news release today, he, but he did say that he was not directed to write it by the Prime Minister's office. He said he was simply stating his own opinion. Meanwhile, there's been other reaction to the budget day. Moody's, one of the bond rating agencies, put out a press release saying the presence of substantial deficits for an extended period of time is credit negative. They're not reducing the province's credit rating, but they are issuing something of a warning that the government is going to have to watch over the next few years. And finally, the unions are also lining up against this budget. They are planning a protest at noon on Tuesday on the steps of Confederation building. Glenn? All right, thank you, Michael. Michael Connors, live in the newsroom.